In this video, we'll look at 20 common prison tattoos, what they mean, and the celebs who wear some of them. Starting with number 20, the teardrop tattoo. The teardrop tattoo is one of the most well-known and controversial prison tattoos. It has multiple meanings and can carry different interpretations depending on the wearer's circumstances. Originally, the tattoo was a symbol of ownership, indicating that the wearer belonged to another prisoner as a form of forced protection. However, the teardrop tattoo has also come to signify the loss of a loved one or a moment of personal hardship. In some cases, it can also represent the wearer's involvement in violent crime, with each tear indicating a kill or attempted kill. The teardrop tattoo has been popularized by celebrities in recent years, with some embracing the tattoo's cultural significance, while others opt for more artistic interpretations. Rapper Lil Wayne has several teardrop tattoos on his face, some of which are now covered by his new tattoos. On being questioned about the meaning behind them, he responded that they are to represent family members who have died. His fellow rapper, The Game, has also got one rumored to serve as a symbol to seek justice for his rapper friends who were fatally shot. Be sure to stick to the end to see the meaning of the other tattoos on Lil Wayne's face. If you thought that teardrop tattoo meaning was crazy, wait till you hear this next one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more amazing videos. Number 19, 1488. 1488 is a combination of two white supremacist numeric symbols, 14 and 88. The number 14 refers to the 14-word slogan, we must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children, which was coined by David Lane, a member of a supremacist terrorist group called The Order. The number 88 represents Heil Hitler, as H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. The 1488 tattoo is a common symbol used by white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and other far-right extremist groups. It can be found on various parts of the body, such as the arms, hands, and face. The tattoo is often accompanied by other racist or anti-Semitic tattoos, such as swastikas or SS lightning bolts. It's important to note that not everyone who has a 1488 tattoo is a white supremacist or neo-Nazi but the symbol is heavily associated with these extremist ideologies. The Anti-Defamation League, ADL, has classified the 1488 symbol as a hate symbol due to its ties to white supremacy and racism. Number 18, Cobweb. The cobweb tattoo is one of the most common prison tattoos, often found on the elbow. It symbolizes a lengthy prison sentence, indicating that the person wearing it has spent a considerable amount of time behind bars. It can also signify feeling trapped in the system or having lost one's freedom. Some famous people have been seen with cobweb tattoos in public. Former NFL player Aaron Hernandez has a spiderweb tattoo with a teardrop underneath it. Hernandez was convicted of murder in 2015 and later died in prison in 2017. The cobweb tattoo has also been popularized in various TV shows and movies, particularly those set in prisons or involving criminal activities. Some people get the cobweb tattoo to showcase their rebellious nature or to signify their status as a lifer in the criminal world. Nonetheless, it should be acknowledged that not every individual sporting a cobweb tattoo has a criminal past or connection to prison culture. The tattoo holds diverse meanings and interpretations, and its significance can vary for each person who wears it. Number 17, Three Dots. The Three Dots tattoo, also known as the Mi Vida Loca tattoo, consists of three dots in a triangular pattern typically placed on the web of the hand between the thumb and index finger. The tattoo is commonly associated with the gang lifestyle and can indicate the wearer's loyalty to a specific gang or group. However, the three dots can also have different meanings depending on the wearer's interpretation. For some, they represent the three main stages of life, birth, life, and death. Others may interpret the dots as mi vida loca or my crazy life, signifying a turbulent past or lifestyle. While not as common among celebrities as some other prison tattoos, a few famous people have been spotted with the three dots tattoo. Rapper Lil Wayne is one such example, with the tattoo located on the web of his left hand. According to BodyArtGuru.com, Lil Wayne's three dots mean laugh, 
think, and cry. Overall, the three dots tattoo can have various meanings and interpretations, and its association with gang culture has made it a popular prison tattoo. However, it's important to note that not everyone who wears it is involved in gang activity, and the tattoo's meaning can vary from person to person. Number 16, Five Dots. Not to be confused with the three dots tattoo, the five dots tattoo is worn between the thumb and forefinger and is also called the quincunx. This tattoo is especially popular among Asian gang members and has several meanings. It's meant to symbolize the world or a group of friends, and it means something close to me against the world. The quincunx pattern also represents the number five, which is important in many cultures and symbolizes balance, harmony, and the five elements of life. However, this tattoo can also indicate a long prison sentence, with each dot representing a year behind bars. Although there are not many celebrities known to have this tattoo, it's still a common design among those involved in criminal activities. The Five Dots tattoo has been popularized in movies and TV shows, particularly those centered around gang life. It is also often seen on the hands of inmates, which has led to its association with prison culture. Overall, the Five Dots tattoo is a complex symbol with various meanings and interpretations. Number 15, the Lightning Bolt. Twin lightning bolts tattooed on a prisoner usually signify allegiance to the Aryan Brotherhood or another white power group. These tattoos are meant to represent the dual lightning bolt runes of the SS, the elite soldiers of Nazi Germany, who were enforcers of racial purity laws. The lightning bolts are a nod to the white supremacist ideology of these groups, which typically advocate for the superiority of the white race and espouse hatred towards other ethnicities. The lightning bolt tattoo is also associated with the prison system, where it is commonly used to denote membership in supremacist prison gangs. These gangs often use violence and intimidation to maintain their dominance and control over other inmates. The lightning bolt tattoo is used to signal to other members that the wearer is part of this group and serves as a warning to potential rivals or enemies. A key point to remember is that while the lightning bolt tattoo is associated with white supremacist groups, not everyone who wears it necessarily shares these beliefs. Some prisoners may get the tattoo as a form of protection or to show solidarity with other members of their racial or ethnic group. However, it is still a symbol that carries significant negative connotations and should not be taken lightly. Number 14, ACAB. The ACAB tattoo is usually found across the back of the neck or on the knuckles, and it stands for All Cops Are Bastards. It's a highly controversial symbol that has been associated with anarchist and anti-police movements. The ACAB tattoo is seen as a way for people to express their frustration with law enforcement and the criminal justice system. Interestingly, the ACAB tattoo can also have a different meaning depending on who you ask. Some people claim that it stands for always carry a Bible and use it as a reminder to stay grounded in their faith. However, this interpretation is much less common than the anti-police one. It's worth noting that the ACAB tattoo is considered highly offensive by many people, including law enforcement officers and their supporters. Some countries have even banned it due to its perceived association with criminal activity and hate speech. Despite this, the ACAB tattoo continues to be popular among certain groups and subcultures, and its meaning remains a topic of debate and controversy. Number 13, Barbed Wire. Barbed wire tattoos are a common sight, but their meaning in prison culture is often overlooked. While it may be a popular design for young people, it has a more significant meaning in prison culture, particularly in Russia. A barbed wire tattoo across the forehead indicates that the wearer has been sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. In other locations on the body, the number of years served is often signified by the amount of barbed wire inked. The barbed wire tattoo has a history of being associated with prison culture and is often used as a warning to others of the wearer's past. In prison, barbed wire tattoos can also be used to signify one's willingness to fight or defend themselves against others. Although it's not a guarantee of violence, the tattoo is often perceived as a symbol of aggression and defiance. While a barbed wire tattoo across the forearm is a popular affectation for many young people, 
It has different meanings in prison culture, especially in Russia. However, despite its negative associations, many celebrities have embraced the design for their own reasons. For instance, Pamela Anderson got herself inked with a barbed wire tattoo design on her arm in 1995 for the movie of the same name, Barb Wire. Meanwhile, Blake Shelton had barbed wire wrapping around his arms, covering some deer tracks, although he later had it removed. Other famous personalities who have barbed wire tattoos include Justine Skye, Cheryl Cole, Deborah Wilson, Travis Barker, and Dua Lipa. Number 12. Volknut The Volknut tattoo, consisting of three interlocking triangles, represents the afterlife in Norse mythology. Derived from Old Norse words valor, slain warrior, and nut, not, it has become popular among neo-Nazi and white power prison gangs due to its connection to their perceived ancestral roots and warrior ethos. Associated with Odin, the Norse god of war and death, the Volknut symbolizes the transition of slain warriors to Valhalla, the heavenly realm where they join Odin's army. Thus, it's sometimes referred to as the Knot of the Slain, or Odin's Knot. In prison, the Volknut signifies strength, loyalty, and connection to the warrior mindset. Its ties to Norse mythology and supremacist ideologies make it appealing to certain gangs as a symbol of allegiance. While not everyone with a Volknut tattoo necessarily subscribes to these extremist beliefs, the symbol's association with such ideologies within prison settings should be approached with caution and an understanding of its complex history and meaning. Number 11. Five-Pointed Crown The five-pointed crown tattoo is the primary symbol of the Latin Kings, one of the largest street gangs in the United States, originating in Chicago. A person sporting this tattoo, especially on their back or neck, is likely affiliated with the gang. The crowns can feature intricate designs, including jewels, and sometimes the acronym ALKN, standing for Almighty Latin Kings Nation. Each point on the crown represents a core value guiding the Latin Kings – love, respect, sacrifice, honor, and obedience. In prison, the five-pointed crown signifies loyalty and commitment to the Latin Kings, unity, and shared identity among incarcerated members. It can also serve as a warning to rivals and a means of establishing dominance. Having a five-pointed crown tattoo is a strong indicator of gang affiliation. While some individuals may choose this design for unrelated reasons because of its notoriety, its connection to the Latin Kings is almost always considered. Number 10. Shamrock A shamrock tattoo on a prisoner might not bring good fortune, as it often signifies an affiliation with the Aryan Brotherhood. This notorious prison gang, known for its supremacist beliefs and violent tendencies, has adopted the shamrock as one of its symbols due to its connection to Celtic heritage and symbolism. Though the shamrock is typically associated with Ireland, Luck, and St. Patrick's Day, its meaning in prison is vastly different. When worn by a member of the Aryan Brotherhood, the shamrock serves as a sign of loyalty and solidarity among fellow gang members. It can also be used as an intimidation tactic, warning rival gangs and inmates of the wearer's allegiance to a dangerous and powerful group. It's essential to understand that not everyone with a shamrock tattoo is connected to the Aryan Brotherhood or involved in criminal activities. The shamrock is a popular and culturally significant symbol with various interpretations. However, within the prison environment, its association with the Aryan Brotherhood should be taken into account when assessing the meaning behind the tattoo. Number 9. The Letter M Tattoos featuring the letter M, often in various styles and designs, typically indicate an affiliation with the Mexican Mafia. This massive prison gang wields significant power, both within the prison system and on the streets. The Mexican Mafia, also known as La M, Spanish for the M, is a highly organized criminal organization with a strict hierarchical structure. Within the prison environment, it's known for its ruthlessness and ability to control other inmates and gangs. A tattoo of the letter M on a prisoner serves as a badge of loyalty and commitment to the Mexican Mafia, signifying allegiance and willingness to follow its rules. The presence of this tattoo can also act as a warning to rivals and a means of asserting dominance within the prison hierarchy. 
While a tattoo of the letter M is often associated with the Mexican Mafia, not everyone with such a tattoo is necessarily a member of this criminal organization. However, in the context of prison tattoos, other reasons or coincidences may be too uncanny. Number 8. The Number 14 the letter N, represented by the number 14, as in the 14th letter of the alphabet, is often associated with the Norteno Gang, one of the largest gangs in Northern California. This gang has a long-standing rivalry with Southern California gangs, and the number 14 is a symbol of their allegiance to the Norteno cause. Tattoos featuring the number 14, or the letter N, serve as a mark of identification and loyalty among Norteno gang members. It signifies the wearer's commitment to the gang and their readiness to defend their territory against rival gangs, particularly those from Southern California. It is essential to differentiate the use of the number 14 in this context from the use among its Aryan Brotherhood members. In the latter case, the number 14 represents the 14 words mantra, a supremacist slogan. While both tattoos involve the number 14, their meanings and affiliations differ significantly. The presence of additional symbols or tattoos can often help distinguish between the two interpretations. Number 7. AFFA The acronym AFFA, which stands for Angel Forever, Forever Angel, is a tattoo commonly found on the knuckles or chest of incarcerated bikers. This particular tattoo is strongly associated with the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club, a worldwide organization infamous for its involvement in criminal activities. The AFFA tattoo serves as a symbol of loyalty, dedication, and brotherhood among Hells Angels members. It signifies the wearer's lifelong commitment to the club and their fellow members. When spotted on an inmate, the tattoo sends a clear message that they are affiliated with the notorious biker gang which can act as both a warning to rival gangs and a display of unity with other Hells Angels members within the prison system. It's worth noting that while the AFFA tattoo is closely tied to the Hells Angels, not every individual sporting this tattoo is necessarily involved in criminal activities or a member of the club. However, its strong association with the Hells Angels should be taken into account when assessing the meaning and intent behind the tattoo. Number 6. Russian Tattoos Russian prison tattoos have a rich history and are known for their intricate and complex designs, especially during the 1970s and 80s. In the Soviet era, many individuals were incarcerated for minor infractions, and tattoos became a way for prisoners to communicate their experiences, beliefs, and status within the prison caste system. For instance, a church tattoo typically symbolized a thief while a dagger on the neck indicated that the wearer had committed murder while incarcerated. Medals tattooed on the chest serve as an ironic expression of dissent against the Soviet regime. Stars on the shoulders denoted someone who held an officer rank within the prisoner hierarchy. These tattoos provide a visual language for prisoners to showcase their criminal accomplishments, affiliations, and opposition to authority. Though the context has changed over the years, Russian prison tattoos remain a fascinating aspect of prison culture, with each design carrying a unique story and meaning. It is important to keep in mind that the meanings behind these tattoos can vary, and interpretation may be dependent on additional symbols or context. Number 5. Clown Faces Clown face tattoos featuring both smiling and frowning clowns are popular among gang members across various racial and ethnic backgrounds. These tattoos carry multiple meanings, but most revolve around the concept of duality, representing the contrasting emotions and experiences in life. Common interpretations include laugh now, cry later, or my happy life, my sad life. The dual clown faces symbolize the balance between joy and sorrow, reflecting the highs and lows that come with a life involved in gang culture. These tattoos serve as a reminder of the fluctuating nature of life and the importance of resilience and adaptability. Keep in mind that the meaning of clown face tattoos can vary depending on the wearer's personal experiences and beliefs, and not every individual with a clown face tattoo is necessarily involved in gang activity. Number 4. EWMN EWMN is a tattoo that typically features four letters inked across the knuckles, symbolizing evil, wicked, mean, nasty. 
This aggressive message is meant to intimidate and serve as a warning to others. The EWMN tattoo is designed to be the last thing someone sees before the wearer delivers a powerful blow. These tattoos embody a sense of toughness and assertiveness, reflecting the wearer's readiness to engage in physical confrontation if necessary. While the EWMN tattoo is commonly associated with prison culture and the harsh environment behind bars, it's essential to consider that the meaning and significance of the tattoo can vary depending on the individual's personal experiences and beliefs. However, choosing to display these specific letters in this particular order may be perceived as a desire to dominate or intimidate fellow inmates and may not be taken kindly in prison. Number 3. Face Tattoos Face tattoos in prison often signify that the wearer is serving a lengthy sentence, with the number of tattoos on the face correlating to the duration of their incarceration. This bold statement is a way for inmates to express their acceptance of their fate or showcase their resilience in the face of adversity. Several instances of notable face tattoos have gained significant attention, such as an individual who had Satan tattooed prominently on his face. This extreme example highlights the deep commitment some prisoners have to expressing their identity or affiliations through facial tattoos. It's important to understand that the meaning and significance of face tattoos can vary greatly, depending on the wearer's personal beliefs, experiences, and the specific design chosen. Many rappers have a variety of face tattoos on their faces, including Young Thug and Lil Wayne, which have their own interpretations outside of the prison world. Number 2. Playing Cards Playing card tattoos are prevalent in prison culture, often symbolizing luck, risk-taking, and a fondness for gambling. Each card suit can hold specific meanings or associations, making these tattoos highly versatile in their representation. Hearts may signify love or passion. Diamonds may represent wealth or materialism. Clubs could denote power or strength. And spades might symbolize intellect or even death. In some instances, playing card tattoos are linked to particular gangs or criminal organizations. For example, the spade symbol is occasionally associated with the Aryan Brotherhood, while the ace of spades has been used to represent power or dominance within the prison hierarchy. It's worth mentioning that playing cards hold a universal appeal, and many people choose to get these tattoos for their own personal reasons, unrelated to criminal affiliations. The meanings and associations detailed here are particularly relevant within prison settings. Outside of these environments, a playing card tattoo's significance can vary greatly, depending on the wearer's unique experiences and interpretation. Number 1. Clock Without Hands a clock without hands is a tattoo often seen in prison culture, symbolizing the concept of time standing still or being irrelevant. For many inmates, this tattoo represents the feeling of being trapped in the prison system, where the passage of time seems to lose its significance due to the monotony and routine of incarceration. The clock without hands can serve as a constant reminder of the time spent behind bars and the disconnection from the outside world. In some cases, this tattoo can also signify a life sentence or a long stretch of incarceration, emphasizing the idea that time has lost its meaning for the individual wearing it. As with many other prison tattoos, it is important to consider context when interpreting the meaning of a clock without a hand tattoo. Outside of prison settings, this design could carry a different symbolism, potentially related to existential or philosophical themes, depending on the wearer's personal beliefs and experiences. Talking about prison, click here to see 15 actors currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. See you there!